when my family chose to move our zoo halfway around the world, that is when my greatest journey began. In the movie Life of Pi, a dire shipwreck leaves a deeply religious teen named Pi adrift at sea. What's more, the stranded young man isn't alone. Because the boat was transporting zoo animals overseas, he's originally joined by a hyena, an orangutan, a zebra with a broken leg, and... Oh yes, a hungry Bengal tiger named Richard Parker. In no time at all though, that lifeboat full of creatures is reduced to only two, Pi and the still hungry Mr. Parker. Each day for Pi becomes an exercise in survival, finding food, gathering water, staying away from Richard Parker's claws. He marks his days on the side of the boat, numbering the sunsets with a knife. Slowly, he trains the tiger, and as the boat floats through days and weeks and months, a bond grows between him and his roaring boatmate. Between this well-made movie's violent animal interactions and desperate struggles for survival, this is a film of faith, kinda. On the one hand, it talks of surrendering oneself to God and trusting him, but this is also a two-hour jumble of spirituality that uncomfortably blends Christian, Hindi, and Muslim beliefs. It's a film that can be both beautiful and ugly, profound and theologically problematic. So I'll be giving Life of Pi two and a half inquisitive meerkats out of five for family friendliness. For an in-depth review on this film or anything else at your local theater, check out PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Cheryl Wilhelmy for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.